Okay? Now what's annoying with this hose, you'll notice that, the, that it was missing its zip ties. Let's pull that one over real quick. Come on, close. It was missing its zip tie, which meant this could fall down. See right. that? The proper way to protect your hose is to lock that puppy down. See that? That way it can't come off. Got it, guys? Put that one back. For whatever reason, this one didn't have its tie on. So here's the thing. Guys, add to your inspection. Anytime you work on a unit, if you see this off, stop. Talk to your instructor, talk to your boss, whoever the heck you need to talk to. The last thing you want is this collar down because this is exactly where the hoses fail the most. Yay. No, it's not yay. Got it, guys? It's not a yay. Again, let me show you what it does. It starts peeing on me. Yes, I'm using that language. Because that's what it looks like. Okay. It's actually green. You don't want your... Yeah, that's, that's another class. That's another class. That's another class. That's another class. That's another I'm not class. teaching a health class. Okay. So what you have to do... First thing you got to do is turn the power off. The gas is clear. Notice that? You never touch any of the hoses when the power is on. on and i mean all the power i'm not talking about just the machine if you're in the middle of doing this and somebody turns the machine on it's gonna hurt you and if you don't think that'll happen there are too many examples in the world where lockout tag out was ignored and people are dead Man. too many lockout since you're the person doing the fix, you don't have to tag out and you're, you're right there. Next, if you have the ability to just lower the cabling, you know, the sleeve down, good. This is designed where the zipper, the way this was installed, is the correct way because you don't want to unzip this thing, got it? You do actually prefer to zipper from back forward. Why? So you can protect your hoses. This is like three, $400. Okay, and yeah, you gotta replace all three if you don't know how to fix them. <clears throat> and where do they fail the most? Right at the neck. Okay, so it is what it is, okay? If you know how to fix them, that doesn't matter. First thing you gotta do is pull the collar off. Can you do me a favor and just pull a little bit on that end? You'll notice that, yep, open it up. You'll notice there's enough sleeve. No, yep, go that way. I want to pull this as far back as I can. See that? Little team effort goes a long way, people. This is typically a straightforward fix. These hoses are on these units exactly the same. They're in a chemistry lab. If you've never been in a chem lab and you don't know how things are attached, the hoses, then you won't know what I'm talking about, but that's okay. In a few minutes, you're going to see. Okay? Everything is beautiful. Copper. That's why it's expensive. Nice, delicate, tender material. Soft. So you don't brute force this thing. You gently... You gently pull the collar down. Gently. You hear that? Okay. You have three connections. Okay. Power, gas, and coolant. Got it? Be kind. Don't rewind. Just be kind. <laughs> Sorry. Have to do it. Got it? Okay? <clears throat> Obviously, you want the power off. You're dealing with liquids. What happens with liquids? If it's everywhere. water, it's a great conductor. It's got, get it? You have to have water that, what, deionized so it doesn't behave. You gently, gently 
do what I just did, which is you gently pull this up. And I mean gently, because it is just soldered. If, you, if you're anybody who's an electrical, per, uh, not electric, plumbing background like I do, it is so easy to snap these off. And then you are buying another one. Got it? Okay. These are actually attached rather easily. This one has a leak, obviously. Your goal is to open this up. And look at the hose. So the cut's not there, so where did the cut happen? Right about there. See that see little it. spot? See that? Yep. It's a tiny little spot. It just needs a little hole. Now, this could be dry rot, okay? Because that happens to, to hoses, got it? So once we figure out what it is, then we'll know what the best approach is. So if we find out it's dry rot, then we'll have to replace the hose in general. But if it was just the situation here, this we can at least repair. See that? Okay. Yep. Now, first off, hang tight. I don't like using those right away. Oh, wow. I know. It's me. <laughs> it's me. I know that. I like to pull it back instead of just chopping it up because I want to show you how the hose gets attached. Exactly like it does if you're in a chem lab. In chem labs, a lot of the faucets have these ends to them and all you do is hook up the hoses to them. This is a very simple hookup. Okay, there's nothing too fancy about the, the hookup. Um, you can pull this back to, to see where... Where was it? Yeah. Oh, right there. oh yeah, we can see it. So it could have been from fatigue the bend position, get it? That's why the sleeve exists, mm -hmm. okay? But that's why we tighten up the collar up high. We basically turtleneck the puppy mm -hmm. to protect these hoses, okay? So now, once we know where, that's all fatigue, you see that? So, go ahead. <clears throat> I'll give you the honors. Cut. Is that the knife? The heck no, you don't turn anything on. Are you kidding me? It's a good way to kill yourself. <laughs> yes, that's in the video. Yes, we, you turn nothing on. We're going to cut. Right, that's why I was asking if you were ready. You want to make sure you cut it away from everything because the last thing you want to do is make more holes. Yeah. What do you want to be go. cut? Okay, so your goal now is to verify where the cut is. I okay. Can see it right there. And if you're as cheap as I am, your goal is to not right cut there? any further. Yep. Let me hold it from here. That's okay. You want a nice like clean water. cut. Got it? Then you can actually, depending on how much you're removing, your goal is not to remove a ton. Because what's going to happen, all the other hoses, shortage. you're going to start getting out of alignment, right? Yeah, exactly. So you really don't want to go too too deep. You put this piece back in. Put that up there. You can get past all the little cloth, that's great. Yes, I will snip it off if, if, if it annoys me too much. You're right, I will. Everybody's different. I like to try to leave it on if I can. And then you're threading it back on. Now, the last step is going to be hazardous to your health if you do it improperly, okay? You, if you don't want to accident, you know, let's say I picked the wrong spot. Let's say there isn't a, um, 
a position for the there. position for the maybe we pick the wrong spot where the hole is right let's say it was a little low and we just didn't catch it got it this last step can never be done with bare hands okay and you don't even want to touch that part i'm not joking this is not a joke you have a partner you can turn it on just you gotta you do not do this alone and you do not touch anything that's correct ready Good. you touch nothing i'm serious this is a safety issue just doing that if you do it improperly i'm serious this is not a joke you cannot touch that part notice where i'm holding it far far away but like everything else in life you have to verify before you put everything in the away and then you realize oh crap it's still leaking but you want to do it with safety in mind all right guys notice i'm wearing safety glasses i'm in full gear yet i'm not welding got it okay then you want to slowly pull the sleeve back up make sure you don't pinch any of the wires remember that one of these you have pulled out a bit remember that so you want to be mindful of how you pull this back up see that gently gently not uh, gently put it back on be mindful of what you're working with delicate copper i know you're used to working with steel do not pull on these wires because you might pull them out in the process that's why you notice i'm trying to avoid pulling down here you notice that there it goes look what happened it did it popped what happened i heard it you heard it i heard it got it it popped see that popped. yeah okay so when that happens you're like okay fine be that way right <laughs> no 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 remember all that cloth i was hoping to leave got to get it out the way yep but i'm gonna use this knife instead Whip out. Where's my other one? Multiple? Oh, I got a crap lot of them. I'm gonna trim the hair. I don't actually want to touch the copper because I don't want to accidentally score it. That, which will also in cause an integrity issue. Since I can't do it neatly, the way I want to, I'm gonna pull this out again. There it is, okay. Pulling the neck back. See that? Pull off the excess material. the hose back on. Pay attention to which way the threading is going. That way you know which way to tighten, of course. I still have too much material, see? Mm -hmm. I cut a little bit of the hose off. You gotta have a really sharp blade to clean this off neatly. Make sure it's seated all the way up. And you slide it back on. It is a compression fit. 
So it's basically being compressed to a close. Got it? That's the mechanical method being used to secure this down. Okay, again. job if you do this every day is your job and maintenance obviously this is not what I do every day of the week so I'm taking a little more time everything is tight the engineering team for this thing I would have created a better sleeve but that's another conversation because I don't like the way this is designed gotta spread them out just a little bit moving past, you know, some Girl, of the if pieces. it was the actual pop. That's what we're going to find out. On again. Got to leave it for a second first. Say again? No, I was telling them to leave it for a second to let it build up. Yep. If it was. Well, it comes immediately. You feel the oh, kick. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It should be cool. We're good. Turn it off. Check, check, double check. Get it? There's no such thing as, okay, I'm done. Bye. How many of us wish IT didn't just, okay, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> okay. Now the idea is to pull the holes back in, so if you can help me with that. Obviously, the other solution to this is what we had done last time, which I did not record, was when we just unzipped yeah. the whole thing. It has its advantages. This is one of them. Yep. Go forward. Keep going. Not the whole. Yeah, there we go. Just, just that way. Yep, keep going. It eventually comes up on its own. There you go. Beautiful. Keep going. Voila! So now you have it. The last step, walk away, we're done. Zip tie. Okay. Oh, what, what? The zip tie. Zip tie. I'm not going to leave it like this and have to come back the next day. You're right. The key to zip tying again will be where? Yeah. Treat it like a turtleneck. Turtle. Have it go into the plastic and protects the rest of the system. Got it? There's a little hole in these where we can run the zip tie through and make one nice tight. And then you make another one underneath it. This guy, pull this one out. Is it set up exactly the way I'm talking? Yeah. Here, you Good. hold that and I'll show them. Yeah, this one has a zip tie on top and has a zip tie right there. This puppy's not moving anywhere. It's double That's zip nice. tie. That's better. I used a little, little black one stuck in here because mm -hmm. that's what I had access to. See that? It got ripped. It happens. And then I, I've even got three on this one. Yeah. See that? This one is to prevent this one from sliding it down. So there's a couple of ways That's to put these there. together. 
The last thing you want to do is leave it like this. Yeah. Got it, guys? And that ends the video.